Alright my friends, my name is Jack Billings, I'm Walt, and today is an exciting day. I have more G10, but this is special. This is new G10 for the 2024 models. So I'm going to go into that, give a few updates, but in the meantime, question of the day, what knife or knives are you carrying? What are you carrying? Okay, one of my favorites is the Benchmade Bug Out with a Tonto Blade. Check that out. It's like OD green scales, nice, and they look aluminum. Pretty sweet. Well, let me see the steel on that. Let's an M4 steel. Awesome. Nice carry. And I have my M16 CRKT. What is this? M16 14SF, more specifically. Very nice. I don't see any steel type on this, so maybe you know. But nice M16, I've carried that for a long time. And then maybe you guys saw this in my pocket, but the 2023 Shed Knife Skewer in Coyote Tan G10, 154cm blade, hollow grind, and Kydex sheath. Check out the sheath, by the way. You can see the brass and the screws starting to wear down because of how often I carry this. So pretty cool. Let me know what you're carrying down in the comments so we can continue the discussion and Let's check out some G10. First things first, have this here. You can kind of see a reflection. This is the Ivory G10. This is my liner. You can see just how thin it is. Extremely thin, cool color. It's kind of like an off-white, but this will be the liner on all of my knives. And for those of you who don't know how a liner works, because we all had to figure out at some point, a liner is basically in between your main scale, which in this case would be G10, and the steel. So this ivory G10 goes in between those two. But uh, yeah, so this will be pretty cool. And why I picked ivory G10 is because my shed that I started out in is painted in ivory. And also the shop kind of has ivory walls. It's not entirely ivory. I'd say the ceiling is more this color than anything else. But um, yeah, it's kind of neat. This color kind of has been sticking with me this whole time. So liner first, I got a lot more of this. I'm just showing one sheet at a time because that would be a lot of material <laughs> to show more than just one sheet. Next up, I have this. So this is black we have black on one side and this looks green it might look green but really it's day glow g10 so let me show you what this looks like broken down all right so broken down this is the day glow this is the midnight black and when you put them together and you put them together in very like small layers you have a little bit of this black kind of shine through the day glow and that's why it makes it look green. So I need to see how this is gonna look once it's completely cut, because right now, all you're seeing for this green, this green color, all you're seeing there is just the black layer coming through the back. So anyways, pretty neat material. It's very thick, you can see it's much thicker than that ivory, but this will be CNC cut. I'm not gonna make any 2024 models until I can get the CNC cut, uh, refined, contoured, just everything set up in that manner. So that's that's pretty cool. So got the day glow slash midnight black, layered, not burl, but layered. Then next up, I have black and Coyote Tan G10. It actually matches my jacket. So pretty cool. There it is. And same thing, layered. Maybe you can see the layers, I don't know. But anyways, this is probably my favorite material to work with, literally because of the texture that you get with it. So definitely one of my favorites. With this one, it looks really nice. Once those layers are cut, broken down, it looks really nice. So that's my second layered material there. Then moving on to my final material that came in, which there are going to be how many colors? There's, there's going to be six colors total plus the Ivory G10, so really seven. There will be three layered and three burl. So today the layered came in first 
and the burrow will be coming in here later. But let me show you this last color, and it is no other than Skewer Orange and Midnight Black in those nice layers. This is quarter inch, and there's a lot of layers. There must be at least 10 layers here, each color, so just imagine that. And this is gonna look really nice broken down into its nice refined state. So very cool colors coming into Shed Knives. The burl is going to be fantastic as well. And this will be great. So I'm looking forward to this. Um, my dad is here to help me out today with all of these knives to get mailed. So I've got a lot of knives, a lot of orders. And I'm very excited, very thankful, very blessed to have this. And if you like knives, as always, go to ShedKnives.com, check it out. The last of the 2023 models is here. I still have a stack of some Sheep's Foots, Conquest, and we have a few Atlas and the two Atars. There's a few two Atars as well. So that's what's left. Skewers, US Tontos, and the Resilience are all sold out for the most part. There may be a few order changes here and there. But uh, yeah, go check it out. If it says sold out online, then it is sold out. If not, I have the knives here. But anyways, my name is Jack. I make knives, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.